Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. So we have a pretty exciting day today. We're going to be taking off to go horseback riding and going on a glacier hike in South Iceland. Weather today is a lot more clear, but the wind has definitely picked up. It's probably it has wind gusts of about 16 miles an hour. So we're definitely layered up and hopefully we should stay warm today. country it was very dynamic on the right of us it was absolutely flat basically it looked like fields and on the left side of us it looked like there was 400 feet cliffs of just like sheer rock wall it was just absolutely beautiful so on the way back we're gonna make sure we stop by get photos a little bit of drone footage of that so we can share it with everybody what do you think dark stuff that's on there is from the volcano that erupted uh, about 10 years ago that shut down all the air traffic control. So we're all done with Arctic Adventures. We did the glacier hike. It was about three hours. It's definitely worth it. Without definitely a doubt. Definitely worth it. Hey, you've, got to, you've got to do this. If you don't do anything else in Iceland, you've got to do the glacier hike. It was just, it was an incredible experience. It was like walking on a, a foreign planet or an alien planet. It, yeah. it was incredible. There were certain parts of it to where it was the craziest thing because you're sitting in there, you're, you're sitting there walking and you're looking at the ice and all the beautiful cliffs around you and it literally felt like you were walking on a cloud it was such a strange feeling yeah. and at one point we came up to this um crevasses to where it was like this just like perfect cylinder like cut right through the ice and you could hear the, the water, water rushing. yeah it was literally almost like a river flowing underneath your feet it was just one of the coolest things it was really really neat and for anybody who's nervous about heights or not feeling safe or anything like that don't don't feel that way just go put that out of your mind go out there and do it and you definitely will not regret it at all no we missed our horseback tour which is just fine we got some incredible drone footage that we'll have to show you guys later um but it, it was it was perfectly fine for the extended time we had on the ice and it, it was well worth it and it was well worth missing the horseback yeah, so we weren't too sure like how it worked until we actually read the paperwork that said how to get to the next location. Yeah, read your paperwork first. Always a good idea. Very, very good idea. <laughs> so what we found out was that uh, we were supposed to be there at 2.15. Well, whenever we were all done, we were kind of hanging out in the magic bus, um, talking with everybody for a little while. And by the time we realized what was going on and we checked the directions, it was 2 o'clock. We looked it up as basically a 25-minute drive, so it just didn't make any sense for us to... Rush off and... No. I mean, and plus, I really wanted to get drone footage to be able to put in this video of the glacier because it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And they're saying within 10 years, it's not even going to exist anymore. So it was really important, I felt, to get the footage of that and miss the horseback ride. So basically, all we were going to do anyways on a horseback ride is we are going to go to the Black Sand Beach. And we're going to go there. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. So there's a place called the Black Sand Beach Restaurant, I believe. And so it's about 25, 30 minutes away. Yes, so we're going to head there. Beach. Definitely time to eat. Alright, so after about a 
one minute drive. We are at the Black Sand Beach restaurant. We're gonna grab some food, refuel our bodies, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out the Black Sand Beach and see what that has to offer. Yes, we need food. She's getting hangry. I'm not hungry. She's getting hangry. <laughs> hangry. <laughs> mythological thing I was reading about is that um, Icelandic people believe that the seals descend from humans and that once a year they can actually come onto the surface, shed their skin, and they dance in the moonlight. Hmm. I thought that was really cool. She stopped and she was reading something and... I love to read things. Knowledge is my friend. I left her behind. I was absolutely yes, I freezing. <laughs> I made my way back to the car and started getting rid of some of the gear because I'm I'm over the cold right now. I'm absolutely frozen. And I was reading how the columns were formed too. The columns are actually formed by magma slowly cooling over time. Really? I, yeah, I thought it was um, hmm. uh, from the glaciers, but it's actually magma that cools slowly over time. Anyway, fun facts. Wow, I really thought it was because of I the glaciers. Too. Yeah, go figure. Yeah. Interesting. It's way bigger in person than what it looks on the camera. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and take the camera off of the gimbal. We're it's gonna not kind of. Close we can actually get. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're not gonna take the chance of getting everything no, soaked. We're really not. second waterfall that we're checking out today we we saw this one as we were driving by and it looked really cool and we wanted to stop and check it out and come to find out it's actually the one that we really wanted to go see because on this one there's a walking path that you can walk behind it so we're getting ready to go back there and check it out we went and switched back over to using my cell phone on the DJI gimbal because I expect it to be a little bit wet all right so we're definitely right about the uh, getting wet part What are you doing? I really hope that rainbow is coming out as well on camera is what it looks like. Alright, so you definitely want to watch your step here because it is very, very wet. What do you think, Tabby? <laughs> I don't know how well you can tell, but 
we're very wet. But this is absolutely beautiful. Hopefully everything works after we're done with this. Long day. Well, after a very long very, day. Very long day. <laughs> Ready to go to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, we were gone for about 12 hours between leaving here, going and doing the glacier uh, ice track. Four waterfalls. Was it four? Yeah, four. And the Black Sand Beach. Which was incredibly windy. Yeah. So with all that said, we're exhausted. That's going to be the end of today's vlog, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.